All right, guys, Reagan here with Redneck Reg Fishing. So I've got some Nico Helgramites. Um, I've been using these guys for the past two years, I think, maybe even a little longer than two years. One of my favorite baits, hands down, always catching them on it. But I wanted to discuss my top three favorite ways to rig the Nico Helgramite. So number one on my list, um, just because it's super versatile in Arizona, and I've seen a lot of guys use it all over the country, um, is the Ned Rig. So Nico Bates Helgramites all float um, and they're super durable. So on a Ned Rig, they're just a perfect combination. So right here, um, I got it on a quarter ounce. I like to fish it on a quarter ounce or a one eighth ounce when I'm fishing. Um, when I throw these, what I'll do is I take and let it sit, pop it a couple of times and let it sit. So I'm going right over the rocks and different structure and I'm letting it sit and these baits stick up. It's not going to sit on the bottom and go completely flat when it's laying there. It's going to kind of raise up because they float. So it's a really nice presentation for a bass to just come up, nice easy grab, and then you set the hook. So with these guys, I get a really good hookup ratio throwing them on a Ned Rig. Just probably my best hookup ratio is throwing it this way. Um, really versatile. What I do is in the summer, I'll even throw it on a little bit lighter. Um, I'll throw it on a 116th. I got an eighth right here. I'll throw it on an eighth. And then what I'll do is I'll just pop it slowly in a current or something because it floats. It'll sink down and pop up and then sink down nice and slow. So when you're fishing it with those lighter weights, you get some really nice action being that these baits float. So and they're just durable. You know, if I'm getting bluegill that nip at it, I never lose the bait to bluegill, which is amazing because a lot of my other plastics just get torn up. So that's going to be the first favorite way to rig the Nico Helgramite. Now, next, I have a Nico Helgramite on a drop shot. Now, when I'm drop shotting the Helgramite, I like to use a two aught hook. I'll go right up into the head and pop it down just like that. I don't like to run the hook all the way through and pop it out. It's just easier to do it this way and you get a lot more action on it this way. So whether I'm just keeping it still in a position and slowly shaking it underwater, um, I'll do it that way. Or if I'm popping it, I'll do it that way. But you still don't have to worry about fish ripping it off. So that's why I don't like to put a hook all the way back here. So this is just a really nice versatile way to rig the Helgramite. And depending on where you're at and what you're fishing, you can adjust the length of your leader down to the weight. I like to fish it right at the six inch mark. Um, that's the best for me where I'm at and what I've seen is most successful. So I'll do it like that. And depending on where I'm at, I'll adjust the weight. So if I'm fishing some super fast flowing water, what I'll end up doing is I'll throw a quite a big weight on because when I go to like the Colorado river and stuff, I need to have something that's going to shoot straight down. That's going to be heavy and get where I need to place it where I can see the fish. Now, if I'm throwing a heavy jig, the problem is that current rips it because it's a bigger bait. So it just goes with the current. Now, if I throw something small and uh, precise, like the normal drop shot rig, it'll shoot down quicker. So that's why I like to use that. And then, I'll have that usually when I'm fishing that heavier weight and fishing in that super fast current, I'll give it a little bit bigger of a leader. I like to go maybe about eight to 10 just because of where I'm at. So you can of course adjust it, but definitely recommend drop shotting. The Helgramite does really well, get some really good action on it. And like I said, I mean, they're durable. You're not going to lose these baits to those fish, even having it nose rigged like that. I mean, I'm just stretching it on it. No issues. So that's going to be the second way to rig it. And finally, one of my favorites, I mean, some of the runner ups were Texas rig, you can wacky rig, um, weightless, but my third favorite way is to Carolina rig it. Cause I've had so much success on this rig because it's a floating bait. I'll give it about an eight to 10 inch liter. And once I'm pulling it, the bait darts down as I pull these weights, the bait darts down and then slowly floats back up. So I'll just keep doing that on my retrieval, and I have had some really good luck with that setup. And it's one of my favorites. Of course, I use the Ned Rig more than that, but depending on where I'm fishing, I'll throw it on a Carolina Rig and just really crush smallmouth and largemouth alike. 
So it's a really versatile bait for both species. So those are my top three rigs, guys. Um, I highly recommend grabbing a pack of these Helger mites. Uh, personal favorite colors, I love June Bug. I've had a lot of success on that. And then Watermelon Red Flake has been another one that just crushes it for me. But thanks, guys, for tuning in.